Yo, 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 yo. What's up? What's happening? What's going on? It's your boy Chang Wayne. Welcome to the blog. Y'all already know what to do. Like, share, subscribe, and hit that bell so you can be notified when I drop these videos. All right, man. Let's be positive today, y'all. So, um, shout out to NBA young boy. Um, he, well, y'all probably already know. I'm just doing a blog about it, but um, he got granted his uh 1.5 million dollar bail, and he will be on house arrest in Utah, waiting on his trial and his federal case. Um, from what I'm from what I'm hearing, he plans to build a recording studio. Hire a security firm that's staffed by former soldiers to patrol the grounds. And he got a curfew on visitors. I'm not sure what the actual time is. And he won't be allowed to have more than three people at his residence at one time. And they got to be pre-approved. Now, I feel as though this whole situation um, is definitely a good luck for him. And the restrictions that I see that he got right now will benefit him. And I'm going to say that because... He won't be around a lot of people that's going to influence him to get him in trouble. And and him being on house arrest is basically is going to like slow him up as far as him being outside. Because it's like the whole purpose is to beat this case. So, I mean, if you got to if you got to sit in the crib, you know, what I'm saying you're not you're not locked up behind bars. I'm not sure if he can actually go out like, you know, like if he can do shows and stuff like that. But the point the point of the matter is, I feel like it's, it's, it's good for him just off of the restrictions that he got. And I don't know. I don't know what they mean. Like, I know what they mean by pre-approved, but how does that work? So what you can have had, like, felons come over, like, your guys can't come through. So I don't, all I know is I just feel as though that this right here is just to just to really keep him from getting in trouble again, like, period, while he's, fa while he's facing this, uh, finishing up this trial or whatever. And I heard something about, too, y'all saw it on the Breakfast Club. They were saying something about that he got, like, some type of tutor out there, I guess a mentor. I don't know. I guess that's somebody in Utah. I guess that can like, you know, lead him the right way. You know, be there for him. So I don't know. We are gonna see how it play out though. But I already knew he was gonna build a studio, and I know we getting ready to drop some 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 more music or whatever. But um, like I say, this is I feel like this is a good luck for him. Um, now I'm not sure. I don't even know when it's actual uh when the actual trial is. Y'all y'all gotta drop a comment. And let me know about that. Um. What y'all think, though? Y'all think NBA Youngboy, he going to come out and do the right thing? Or you feel like he still might be reckless and, and be doing crazy stuff? Because, I mean, you can record your music videos in the crib. You got the studio in there. I don't know who you can have that's really going to come there. So, I mean, you collab with people. You, you do your features. You can fly some artists out. Like, you can really network. Like, I don't know what Utah really got to offer. But, hey, man, it's better than being back at home with all your guys and then you getting back in trouble that's why i feel like utah like because like i don't know nothing too much about utah but it's it's gonna keep you isolated it's like young boy he like about to be like on the own island for real in my opinion um but like i said i mean house arrest sucks but it's a good look for him he ain't behind bars no more like i said he got more freedom to do stuff even though it's house arrest and restrictions but you ain't locked up you ain't you ain't, you ain't still you ain't still behind bars like i said I would just be, I would just be on my pop ish. I would just be in the studio all day. I'd be recording three, four songs a day. You know what I'm saying? Now, I wonder if he could still smoke and do all that. You know how a young boy is, but hey, I just be getting drunk in the studio, vibing. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but y'all, let me know what y'all think about that. Uh, I, like I said, I, I don't really feel like he could do nothing dumb in this situation. But you know, these guys. They still young minded, so you never know. But y'all drop a comment. Y'all let me know what y'all think about all this. And I'm out.